Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Medieval Dynasty. And this video is going to be, uh, yeah, not so easy. Uh, because it's uh, about the NPC workers. It's about the buildings. It's ab about uh, setting up uh, the workers. So there is a lot that you need to know. Uh, so what we are going to do is, first I'm going to start with how do you recruit guys. Then some site information. Then the building. Then I'm going to my town to uh, look a little bit around. And uh, yeah, that's it a little bit. So let's get started. So first of all, if you got your uh, survival sense and you push Alt, you can see at the top of some NPCs, most of the time they are on the campfire, you can see six skills with numbers. The numbers goes from one to six, and the higher the number, the better they are in that skill. If you are not familiar with the skill uh, icons, you can just go to inventory, and here are all the skills too. So this is hunting. So you, you can see it with the bow. If I check this guy, he got six hunting. So that's a very good hunter. So that's how you need to recruit it. Because if you put the hunter on a farm, uh, yeah, it's not going to work that well. The higher the number, the better they are going to do their work. How do you recruit those guys? So yeah, this guy I already talked with it. So those guys that got skills above their uh, head, you can ask them to come to your village. But this guy, I already talked with him. You can do one time a cyclus of talking until they don't want to talk anymore with you. Then you need to sleep, go to the next day, and then you can repeat it. So you guys see approval 50. It needs to be 70, and then you can invite them. So how do you do it? Just by taking this. He's now saying it. I don't know you well enough. You need approval 70. So we are going to talk with him. Hey, do you have a minute? How have you been lately? Most of the time that's very good for approval. Yeah, plus zero. He's an asshole. So he's a little bit an angry dude, I think. So let's do it again. Do you have gossip? Minus five. Yeah, I already saw this. This is a very uh, asshole guy. But normally you need to do it like this. And now it stops because I got minus uh, points on him. Uh, but it's very strange. So some guys... Even if it's good weather and you say it's good weather, they got minus points. Uh, sometimes you need to, uh, yeah, you need to learn the NPC a little bit. This is a guy, it's not a positive guy. So you need to approach him negative. So don't talk about his job. Always talk about uh, shit things and he will do it. That's how you need to do it. At 70, you can recruit them and then they go to your uh, village. But that's not all. Uh, because now I'm going to show you guys uh, what is important too. So the moment that you uh, recruit somebody, uh, yeah, that's a sentence that is not leading to anything because I wanted to talk about dynasty reputation. So dynasty reputation, dynasty reputation is very important because it allows you to have a certain amount of NPCs in your town. So sometimes you cannot recruit it, recruit an NPC, and they say your reputation is not high enough. So the amount of NPC depends on your reputation. How can you get a high reputation? Just do the main quest and do quests in town. That's very important. I'm not sure how high I can go now because I got 781 reputation. But uh, it's, uh, I think it's a lot. I got now six guys here and uh, I think I can go higher. Maybe to 10 or something because I think that like, uh, like 70 is uh, you need to have 70 reputation for every guy. And we are going now to the town. And in the town, I'm going to talk about the management because I want to show you guys the houses too. So you can see I already got some uh, some nice stuff, uh, some nice village. Still a lot of, of work to go. Uh, and you probably think why it's not speed running because otherwise I open my Steam. <laughs> and I don't like that in the video. Uh, so therefore, I'm not pushing shift. It takes a little bit longer, but now we are in the town. So first of all, there are two things that are very important if you got an NPC. Uh, yeah, no, three things. So first of all, you need to have certain buildings. So you need to have a, this building. That's a resource uh, building. You need to have a food building. So you can find it here. So let's have a look. Resource storage, that's needed. Uh, you need to have... Uh, a food storage because they need heat and you need to have a, a house because they need to live somewhere otherwise they are not going to have that's very important then the next thing uh, is wood you need to have wood 
uh, you can have three kinds of food that I know. So sticks are working, but uh, every 10 sticks is going to give only one point. Logs are working too, but the best is that you make uh, firewood from them. Uh, firewood is going to give the most points uh, because it's uh, to heat them up. So it's it's to keep warm and making food, I think, and all that stuff. So here you can see I got 21 still in stock. And uh, every hour in game, I'm using two uh, yeah, wood. So it's very important. Otherwise, the mood goes down on your NPC workers. Food is just the same, but food is in the food storage. Uh, so therefore, you need to have those buildings. And uh, they are going to pick out food out of the storage the whole time too, because they need to eat. So here is a food storage. So you see, I got a shitload of food here. Uh, and uh, yeah. I still got a lot of them, so I'm using 5.1 for each hour, and I got 366, so I can keep going the entire time. Wood is a little bit problematic, uh, for sure, in winter, because they need to have more wood, but once that you got the wood shed, uh, it's automatically, so that's very good. You just need to go to the locks, make firewoods from them, and that's it. The building limit, I still can plant three uh, buildings, and here is my population. Now I'm going to talk about the mood of the, the NPCs. Uh, I'm not sure why the mood is that important. I think if they are happier, they work a little bit better. But the base NPC uh, is mood, if you got all the demands that he needs, uh, is 50. How can you get it higher? You need to make stone houses. So why I got at the moment uh, two guys that are 61? Because I got one stone house here. They are living in the stone house. If you put clay against it, it's even going higher. I'm not sure how, how high I can go. Uh, I'm not sure that we can go to 100%. But that's how you get the mood higher of your uh, NPC uh, guys. So that's a little bit about how they feel, uh, how you need to uh, sustain the happiness of your workers. Now it's time to talk about the buildings and how you need to uh, put workers in the buildings. So if you click here, you see I got already a lot of buildings. So what I suggest is that you start with the hunting lodge. A hunting lodge is very good. Why it's very good? So if you click on it, uh, yeah, you cannot see a lot, but if you push F, you can see that you can assign two hunting lodge, uh, two guys in the hunting lodge, and you will see what they can produce. So you just click here. It's very handy. So you got a gatherer and you got a hunter. So I will do it now for the video. So let's assign somebody. And the beauty about this game is you can see right away who got very good skills. It's in green. So this guy, uh, Kungunda, I can make her a hunter. And now she's a hunter. So now she's inside here. If you go now on the output, you will see they, she brings 3.6 meat per hour and 1.8 uh, leather per hour. It's very good money farm, the NPCs, but it's a very good hunter too. She had six. So that's how you need to do it with the worker. Same for the workshop. Just have a look here. Here is something very uh, special. In the workshop, you can say what they need to make so you got 100 percent time so i want to make wooden spears so put you put this on 100 percent and the guy that is in the workshop at that moment is going to make only wooden spears but only if he got the materials in the workshop that's very essential so if you come here to the workshop and the guys are working look at this beautiful so if you go to the workshop, you need to put all the materials here. So that's a, a log, uh, that's stones and all that stuff. And then the worker is going to do uh, his work over here. So that's a little bit how it works. Uh, so it depends a lot on the, the seasons too, because now it's spring and you guys can see I got two field workers. Uh, normally I even got three field workers because spring is very good to do the, the shop, uh, not the shop, but the fields. The farming so everybody need to uh, do the flax because the next video is probably going to be the flax farm because you can make in a, in a season with 100 squares of fields you can make four to five thousand uh, currency 
so it's very fun but i'm now testing a little bit can my workers do it because they are very slow it's unbelievable how slow they are <laughs> sometimes i think that they are living in in this age uh, because in the medieval age uh, yeah you need to work to survive but they work so slow in the real medieval age they were already dead i think uh, so back to the management so can i say more you can do it with the houses too so if you put uh, if you want to put in a certain house more people but that's buggy at the moment uh, because i you guys can see here i got a small house here if i click here and i want to assign another guy in the house it's not going to work don't ask me how it comes uh, but it's not working so you cannot use all the capacity of your houses because i i got like uh in total i got room for 13 guys but I need to uh, put out more houses because they didn't want to come. They say you don't have place for me. Uh, so it's buggy at the moment. So it's just the same for everything. So here you got like a woodshed. Very important. Build it too, guys. So lumberjack. Uh, put a guy in it. Assign it. You will see what he's making. Because locks are very important. So he's getting 0 0.8 locks every hour. You got a barn too. But in a barn, you uh, you need to put the guys that are working on the farm. So here you can see the field workers. So let's put my hunter back because he needs to work on the field. So what is a field worker? Somebody that is working on the field, uh, sowing, uh, planting the seeds, uh, harvesting. What is somebody that is not on the field, but the other one? What was the other one again? Uh, let me have a look. Uh, the farmer, uh, she's, uh, she's making seeds in the barn, uh, making... Uh, like, yeah, a lot of stuff that you can do in the barn. I don't see really the benefit from it. Most of the time I just put them on the field. But that's a little bit what you need to do, guys. So be sure that you put NPCs in the right, uh, in the right houses. You need to build them. Uh, hunting lodges are very good at the start. The woodshed is a must. And then a little bit later you can do this too. So this is very good too for uh, uh, excavation shed. That's for rocks. Rocks and clay, but that's a little bit later. Now I'm going to talk about the about the farms because the farms are very important. Uh, uh, it's very clunchy at the moment. The farms. So I got uh, yeah five fields, and this is my biggest one. So the biggest one is here at the back, uh, and uh, yeah, I need to repair this because your houses they at some time you need to repair them. So here you see the the farm. So the fields, and they are working very good. Once again, it's unbelievable how bad it works, this system. But how can you put up a system for your NPC? So if you go here to the field, you push F, and then you see here, this is the field. So now at the moment, it's spring, it's all flux. So I got everywhere flux. If you want to change it, for example, to wheat, you just do this. Then you do escape, you save it, and now you will see uh, it's uh, wheat, but I'm going back to flux and that's how your NPCs know what they need to plant on a certain area So that's how you need to do it uh, But yeah, you guys can see it's not going that fast at the moment. You need to do it yourself uh, Because the main problem is they do maybe four to five fields every day These are like 50 fields that I need to do so you need to do it at yourself I hope in the future it goes a little bit faster so that was it a little bit guys I think I said everything about the 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 animals I cannot say a lot because I don't have animals uh, in the future I will make an um, uh, an animal uh, an animal video about it too because I know that uh, you need to have an NPC to make food for your animals to because you cannot do it at the moment yourself and getting the manure. So I guess once that you got an animal uh, yeah, building that you can put like just the same like the other buildings that you can put like an NPC in it and you will be okay. Is it a good system at the moment? I'm on the edge because it's very good. I almost forget the most, the best thing about it because I'm going to put it in the title. NPCs are very good, the best to level your technology it's unbelievable so you guys can see here so i got now crafting 1400 but the hunting 1400 so the first time that i had uh, that i got my first npc i let him do uh, yeah hunter work i had 200 so every time that they 
yeah, work or shoot an animal, you get points for it. So it's unbelievable. If you got four hunters, it's flying because you need to have a lot of points. So that's the best method to level technology because otherwise you guys know how frustrating it is to hunt in this game. So you get one point for shooting a deer or two points, but it's way too slow. NPCs, they boost your technology so fast. So that's the best about the NPCs because money wise, you will make a little bit money. Uh, but it's not that you make a chain that you are going to make a shitload of money. Uh, but at the end, it's fun too, I think, the NPCs. It makes a lot of things automatic, like the locks, you don't need to do it anymore. Another thing I want to say to you guys, if you let an NPC doing the, the logging, it's not destroying the trees. And that makes me very happy. So he's not destroying... So you see the animation that is like hitting a tree... But I think this is my uh, woodcutter. So he's going to hit the tree, but the tree visible stays. I like that because with all the stumps here, I don't like that a lot. So that was it, guys. It's not easy. Just always remember, it can be a little bit buggy. And is this girl... Yeah, check these guys. She's doing the flux. Unbelievable. Yeah, they are sometimes, they are zombies. They stop, they look... Yes, yeah, she's working. I'm so happy now. So thanks for watching, guys. Have fun. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.